Introducing the feared Assassin Fly, a master of aerial hunting whose deadly dives and precision in flight make it one of the most formidable predators in the insect kingdom. With its menacing appearance that intimidates any observer, the Assassin Fly doesn't need a stinger like bees or wasps. Instead, it uses its sharp proboscis to pierce and feed on its prey. It is an infallible aerial predator, using hunting methods that are as precise as they are fascinating. With its sharp vision, it detects the slightest movement of its prey from afar. Let's compare it with a housefly, a common creature with well-known characteristics short antennae, compound eyes, and a diet based on decomposing organic matter. In contrast, the assassin fly, larger in size and with equally excellent vision, possesses superior agility. Its body structure, with long, robust legs and an aerodynamic thorax, allows it to perform impressive aerial maneuvers. This is a Stetoda Pecaliana, the legendary false black widow. With its shiny dark abdomen, and unmatched web weaving skills, this spider is not only a master trap creator but also a cunning and stealthy hunter. In previous videos, we have been fortunate enough to observe the remarkable skills of these Stetoda spiders. What would happen if the feared assassin fly came face to face with the cunning false black widow? The venom of this stetoda, though less potent than that of its relative the black widow, is sufficient to immobilize its prey, and ensure its dominance in the arthropod realm. The assassin fly from the Acelidae family also has venom that it uses to paralyze its prey. This venom contains a complex mixture of proteins and peptides, including neurotoxic toxins. Both quickly become aware of each other's presence, creating a moment of maximum tension. We see the assassin fly approach the false black widow, and the spider reacts instantly, jumping on it in a way never seen before. Although these spiders appear to be slow and clumsy, in crucial moments they transform into swift and precise creatures, demonstrating remarkable agility. These flies are not usually easy prey to catch, and few spiders manage to feed on them. Much like dragonflies, which hunt in flight with astounding precision, capturing prey in midair, and damselflies, which have a slimmer body and foldable wings, assassinflies often capture large prey such as grasshoppers, butterflies, and even spiders. We see that the first thing the spider has done is cover the fly's wings with its web, immobilizing it with precision. The sticky web of the stetoda is composed of a complex mixture of proteins, primarily fibroins, which give it incredible elasticity and strength. Additionally, its adhesive surface contains glycoproteins that ensure any prey is firmly trapped. And then came the crucial and essential moment for the spider's feeding process. It prepares to inject its venom into the fly, paralyzing it. Afterward, it will inject digestive enzymes to break down the internal tissues, allowing it to consume the fly with ease. This prey will provide enough energy for its next egg laying. These egg sacs can house hundreds of offspring and are carefully guarded by the spider. When the time comes to hatch, the false black widow's offspring use their saliva to dissolve their way through the sac and emerge from it.
Although Stetona spiders are solitary and only socialize during mating, they exhibit remarkable parental behavior. After laying their egg sac, the female stays with her offspring until they are large enough to be independent. This behavior ensures a higher survival rate for the young, as the mother protects and cares for them in their early days of life. After consuming the assassin fly, we wonder if these spiders could capture larger prey. Although almost anything can accidentally fall into their webs, and they are accustomed to hunting mainly flying insects, their strength and elasticity allow them to catch even larger and stronger insects. Although, as we've seen before, these spiders don't require a pre-built web to catch their food. A Zophoba would be an ideal prey if it weren't for its large size, considerable strength, and highly potent mouthparts, making it a formidable challenge for any predator. Upon beholding the imposing magnitude of the worm, the spider doesn't hastily lunge to capture it, impressed by its size. It's at this precise moment that the strategic cunning of these arachnids comes into play, patiently awaiting the ideal moment to act. Unaware of what lies before her, the Zophoba dangerously approaches the spider, revealing its vulnerability and granting the latter the confidence needed to take action. Aware that her web would be ineffective against this prey due to the worm's power to break her threads, the spider hurriedly injects her venom in an attempt to paralyze it, thus adopting a different strategy than the one used with the assassin fly. When the spider perceives that her venom begins to take effect, she recognizes the opportune moment to feed. This behavior highlights the remarkable intelligence of these arthropods. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to continue watching this content.